hello you guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video it is a thrift haul i have a lot of thrift hauls on this channel and if you guys know me i love to thrift shopping secondhand is such a passion of mine and i wanted to share it with you guys so let's go ahead and let's get into this thrift haul today's thrift haul i didn't go to a thrift store that I normally actually go to my mom spotted it and I went with her it was just really on a fly thing like we weren't planning on going thrifting at all this day and I was so happy with the things that I found and coming across this really cute local thrift store so it wasn't my goodwill it was a local one and they had really good prices as well as a lot of antique items and vintage items which you guys know I love like they had a lot of vintage items and I'm so excited to share the things that I found I found a lot of kids stuff more than I thought I would but it was just really a surprise walking into this thrift store and I am so happy with the result and what I found and this was just a really fun thrifting experience so I'm gonna be going back there and it's actually so funny because it's right by my other two favorite thrift stores like literally right down the street not even a block over literally just cross the street and I have never seen it before it's kind of like a hole in the wall place but when you go in it's just so many things they have a lot of seasonal like Christmas Halloween a lot of things and a lot of antique and vintage items so I was just so excited to find this store and Shout out to my mom because she spotted it. Where's my coffee? It's all the way up there. Great. But anyway, so yeah, shout out to my mom for finding this thrift store because I had no idea about it and she was eyeing it when we were getting my taxes and stuff done and she was like, there's a thrift store right there and I was like, no, there's not. And it's, it, there was. So if you guys are new here, my name is Noelle. I do all kinds of minimal mama homemaking content. I love to thrift, obviously. Here we are. I love to bake cook from scratch and all of the good things some mom content parenting content in there as well and yeah so hello if you're new and if you're not just thank you for coming back and let's go ahead and let's get into this haul it's pretty it's a pretty decent size haul I wouldn't say it's huge but it's pretty decent so if you guys also don't know I love to shop secondhand and thrifting now I know people ask me like aren't you overwhelmed when you go to the thrift store and the answer is some of the time I definitely get overwhelmed. Um, I really have to slow down and take my time. Especially if I have the kids with me, it's kind of easy to get overwhelmed. But I love going to the thrift store without my kids. It's like my favorite thing. However, it is, it's really fun to journey and explore with the kids as well. But it can be really stressful when you bring them. You feel like you're on this like invisible time clock of like looking and you know kids are grabbing things and all of that so you know it, it's more stressful with kids for sure but it's a really fun experience when you go like alone or with a friend or with like a sister or mom or something it's just so fun this time I had my kids with me and it was still a really good experience but a little stressful so I do get overwhelmed when I go to the thrift store and I know that's why a lot of people don't do thrifting is just because they feel overwhelmed and I totally get that feeling 100% you really have to be kind of like in that mindset to go thrifting and this day I was not prepared to go thrifting but it was still such a good experience so yeah shopping secondhand is really good for the environment it's good for your wallet it's good for so many different things and I love to shop secondhand when I can. I usually shop secondhand first before I go order online. And you know, it, it could be a little bit hard when you have certain things in mind and you go to the thrift store. I just kind of let the thrift store speak to me and not have any expectations when I walk in there. But I do live in California and the thrifting is so good out here, I must say. Every time I walk into a thrift store, I find at least a few items that I have been having on my list or just really like and wanted but i try to keep it very minimal and have everything have a purpose which can be hard at times but i like to try to keep it minimal we live in a very small place as well so keep that in mind it, we just can't have a lot of stuff here and i love to keep things minimal so long intro let's get to the thrift haul. all right so you guys know i'm obsessed with baskets and baskets are the first thing that i just picked up and they had and they had a lot of baskets so this one was $3.99 so cute it has like the cutest little handles I use a lot of baskets and some people are like can you have too many baskets and the answer is no you cannot I use them for everything for storing things organizing things for my kids toys for exploring outside the basket opportunities are just like endless like what you could do with baskets are endless so I love that 
I got another little basket and this one was $1.99. And look at how cute she is. She's just so cute. I love the shape. Really good for like toy rotations and stuff like that. So I really got these kind of baskets specifically with toy rotations in mind and for the kids. So I thought that was really cute. I got another basket, of course, surprise, surprise. That was $1.99 as well. And it's just another cute little Explorer basket. We actually have one similar, but, but my kids, when we go out to collect rocks, leaves, whatever, my other kid always wants one like the other basket that we have. So I figured, why not grab this one? So that one was $1.99. All right, another random item are these wooden blocks. I've thrifted these before from an antique store and these are really, really nice. These actually have the colors on them in the print, so they're a lot more new, I would say, than the ones that I thrifted from the antique store. Like all the colors and stuff were worn off and that's okay. I actually prefer it that way, but I really thought this would be nice to have the ones with the colors and all the letters and stuff. So I grabbed these and these were, no prices these were $2.99 which I think was such a good deal and they have it taped kind of weird so I'm going to try to open it there we go so for instance like you can see it has like the full color on there full color and letters pictures really cute little old school blocks love that so i just thought those would be fun my kids love to build with these and just have fun so i grabbed those for the kids i'm also deciding if some of these things that i got for my kids will actually be christmas presents and i know some people have weird things about thrifting christmas presents for your kids but i have nothing against that i think that is so cool you save money, you're getting them good stuff, and like who cares, you're shopping secondhand, better for the environment, more sustainable. I don't care what people say about that, but I'm thinking about having some of these items as gifts. Oh, I actually, I actually have another basket, but I'm just gonna save that because it's over there. So those are like the kid baskets that I got. And then I got the kids Mother Goose. I thought this was so cool. This is definitely a vintage book. It has all of the nursery rhymes in it like Humpty Dumpty everything little Bo Peep like how cute how cute is this they have all of the little nursery rhymes in here the cat and the fiddle and I thought that was just adorable so I got them that something else that I got is this cute little teddy this cute little teddy Noah has a teddy Noah has a teddy and Nola does not so I thought this was just perfect and she's already been playing with this and I think it's adorable and she's already calling it her teddy and it has like little furs on the bows but the reason the thing that draw me to this the thing that drew me to this is how cute this floral how beautiful and adorable this floral print is so it has it on the bow and on the feet as well as the hands I think this is handmade and I think this is gorgeous so this was really cheap. It was like $1.99. It's in such good condition. It's like brand new, beautiful. And I just could not get over this really cute floral print. She's so girly and I'm so girly and I just love the, I want this print in a dress. Like, can I get this print in a dress? Hello. So cute, love that. So I got that for her and she's already in love with it. Something else that I got though children of mine is this really cool old school paper roll this was $6.99 and it's from Lakeshore and it's an old vintage like paper roll do you guys remember this paper when you guys were in school like how cute is this paper and we're gonna do homeschool as a lot of you guys know so I thought this would be a really cool like homeschool tools so the kids can learn and practice how to write and stuff i mean obviously this isn't like necessary but i just thought it was so cool that i was vintage and it was really cheap 6.99 not bad for a vintage homeschool item i love it so i'm definitely excited for the kids to start like drawing and learning how to write their name and stuff on that so it might be a little bit before they can actually use that but um we're definitely going to put it to use and i thought it was so cool another beautiful 
item that I was able to score is this beautiful woven knitted or crocheted blanket like it's pretty big too it's not super small gorgeous I'm so obsessed with this blanket like look at how pretty it is it's just nice and cream like a cream color and it's just beautiful it would be really nice for a baby or a toddler or even just like a throw on your bed as an adult I just think it's so nice nice and cozy and this was only three dollars so such a good deal such a good deal $3.99 so this was $3.99 love that all right so another thing that I got for the kids I just realized this is mainly a kids haul a thrift vintage kid haul but I got this cute baby doll rocker so it rocks and it's so cute this was $15.99 so it was a little bit more pricey and it doesn't have like the little mattress but I figured like it's for a doll so we could just put like a blanket in here but like how cute is this absolutely adorable so I am loving that and it rocks really well and that's definitely an old vintage piece I saw how much they were on Facebook market and was like we need to get that because Nola loves dolls and I thought this would be a really cute way for her to nurture her doll she already has a stroller so why not get her like a little bed that rocks so cute something else that I got the kids is these really cool bag of marine animals and there's some bugs in there too so they have like octopuses dolphins um, orca whales walruses like sharks lobsters so many things clownfish mainly all marine life so i thought this was cool for 3.99 i actually got them two bags of these so we can use it for sensory and the kids are playing with one right now so they love that okay on to some few random things that i found for myself for mama starting with this random cup you guys know I love coffee and a good coffee mug is always something I look for when I go to the thrift store so I just thought this was really beautiful and I love plants it's green inside it's green on the inside and it's just so pretty love that it has chamomile and spearmint on one side so spearmint and chamomile love that something else that I got in like the pottery section was this really nice crock it has imperfections right here but I still love that it was $6.99 and this is definitely my style for pouring anything like cream for pouring anything like cream milk whatever you name it I thought this was really cool I got this random I got this nice antique fly swatter that I will be using and this was $5.99 it's summer and flies are in here and i wanted a fly swatter and it's like shaped like a little house like how cool is that and it has like a metal handle and a wooden little handle but the stem is metal i thought this was really cool so flies watch out because <laughs> i'm going to be using that i also got this really beautiful sifter for my baking this was antique as well or vintage 199 I'm not sure it's so hard to tell when things are in antique because antique means over 100 years and vintage means under so I'm not really sure but it's either it's one or the other it's old is what I do know the lady said this is one night this was 199 and I think it's so cute I have a sifter but it's a lot bigger and a lot of the time I want something a lot smaller so this was perfect this was perfect 199 so nice to go along with that in the kitchen section I found a potato peeler we needed a potato we needed a potato peeler and I just loved it because of the wooden handle you guys already know because of the wooden handle so nice then I got this I'm not sure what this is for but this is 99 cents and it's like a little rolling pin so cute and I thought the kids could actually use this because we have one similar but it's a little bit bigger than this and I thought one of the kids could use it for when they bake with me because they always love to help. Helping is their thing and I like to let them because it's good for character building. And then I found myself a basket. So the other ones were really for the kids and I found this one. Is this one ninety? This one was $1.99 as well. This is like the cheapest place I found for baskets by far. How pretty is this one though? has like different colors of brown beautiful so I love that like I said you can never have enough baskets and then I found 
some books some old vintage books this one is actually a vintage book for singing like how to control your voice i believe when you're trying to sing i'm not a singer by any means but i thought this would be a really nice book for styling and i love the color the linen cover gorgeous and like the spine is really nice too and the vintage looking aesthetic of the book because it's definitely very old love that the books were only um 78 cents i believe which is crazy and then i also got another vintage book modern cake decorating a homemade a homemaker's pictorial encyclopedia modern cake decorating so i thought this book was really pretty and another one that would be really good for decorating and also it's just a really cool book to be honest like it's all in black and white which i just thought was so cool and unique and i love it so old school cake decorating i don't know if i'll be pulling any actual ideas for cake decorating from this book but i just thought it was so beautiful and really nice to have for decor and i think that's all that i got from this haul so i hope you guys enjoyed it i love finding vintage antique items i think that is so cool they add so much character to your home and i think it's so cool that someone owned it before you i mean i guess that's the same thing with anything secondhand but I love it so much and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one.